What is happening here? It's three and here of time here presenting you with some more throwback SimCity 3000 Unlimited. Now it's been a while since I have recorded this. I think four weeks since I recorded this. So it will take me a little while to get uh, remembering what we did. Uh, I posted for three weeks in a row uh, on Fridays and then I did not post last week basically because the week before that, well the week leading up to that Friday I was insanely busy with school, and I still am right now insanely busy. Uh, next Monday and Tuesday, uh, next week I only have a two-day week, but on those two days I have a ton of stuff happening, because it was the last two days before we basically go on Thanksgiving break, and then we come back and it's finals, so getting a lot of stuff out of the way, but let's get right into the thick of it. Now, uh, I gotta confess to you, I played a little bit of SimCity on my own, because after playing the Let's Play, I just, man, I, I was really into it. And uh, I, I kind of overplayed it <laughs> and uh, got tired of it, but hopefully I'm ready for some more. And uh, something I had done and figured out is uh, what I did here, is keeping the industrial next to the people is important. Uh, the problem is that industrial creates lots of pollution. Uh, the reason you want to keep industrial next to the people though is because the residents have to work in the industries. So if the industries are way over here by my factory or my dump, which should be over here away from the people because they cause a lot of pollution and they make the aura, basically, and the, the want of the people to live where they're at pretty low. Yeah, they make the property value extremely low. So uh, we actually want the industry to be next to the people because then there's less uh, uh, transit, less transportation, and a lot less pollution here. Now the one thing I don't really have going on in this town is mass transit. I don't think I have a whole lot of complaints about that, but for now we're not going to worry about mass transit because we're still in light residences and I'm going to build at least this next section in light residences. Now you may remember from last time that what I'm doing is a few squares of light residences followed by a few uh, actually, I guess I'll do this. This one was light residences, light commercial and industry, right? All grouped together. This one is going to be light as well. I'll zoom out a little bit. This one will be light as well. And I've already started on it. I'll probably make one more encroaching upon the sea in light. And then I'll start to move out and I'll do medium, probably on both sides, maybe on one side. And then I will make it a little bit bigger. Um, so my plan is to just keep going from where I left off. And uh, the one thing I did learn is, uh, first of all, I'll show you, before I say what I was about to do, because it has to do with budget, I'll show you my budget. This is where we closed last time. This is our money where we closed it last time. This is our flow. Now, last time I talked about turning down the education because I didn't see any point in it. However, what I have learned is that uh, actually education is one of the only things you really want to spend as much as possible on. So I'm actually going to crank that all the way up, because it turns out that as your sims become smarter, uh, visa, paying uh, more to the schools, paying teachers more, spending more on education, making more schools, making more colleges, as you do so, um, there will be more high-tech jobs created. These industries are extremely low-tech, high pollution, you'll see there, uh, high air pollution, high flammability, and as education gets better in your town these will become high-tech jobs and also unpolluting jobs so that's my first goal and hopefully that'll happen let's get this this thing started and hopefully we'll see some stuff going on here I want to see uh, were we hypnotized probably not rumors spread okay speak of hypnotism this is a weird thing I don't really tell people this my great-grandpa is actually a hypnotist and I'm not really behind that. I don't. I don't like the practice of hypnotism, particularly. I don't like the idea of it, and uh, for several reasons. But he does it, and uh, it's weird. So he actually teaches it too. <laughs> really weird. So uh, as you can see, we need industrial zones, and I'm gonna just keep going with my my square grid because I think that that's gonna work if I keep doing it in that pattern. But maybe I should rotate it. I'm not sure. What is this right now? A house? I don't know why my houses are here. Okay. Alright, I need... Oh, I don't need industry all of a sudden. Okay, alright. Then, uh, what do I need? I need industry and I need commercial. So, we will put this right 
Yeah. And we'll see what happens with that. My fan is going crazy in my room right now, guys. I don't know why. I can't not have the fan on because my school has recently turned on the heat and it is literally like death in here. But, uh, it's alright. We'll be okay. Um, no, they can't have my power. Yeah, they recently turned on the heat. It gets really hot when they turn on the heat in this school. I hate when they do it. But they do it anyway. They don't care about us particularly. Alright. Yeah, they're, they're really like jerks about that. Right. Seems a lot more fun in their lives. Really? Okay. Alright, let me give you some more fun. Here's a small park. Right there. Uh, here. Alright, hang on, people. Jeez, stop yelling at me. Alright. Get that there. Park there. Let's just throw a bunch of small parks around this joint, guys. Here we go. Alright. Alright, we're gonna pause it. I'm gonna demolish that. I'm gonna demolish that. I'll put one in the industry. I'll put one. That is a, a park there, isn't it? How about that? Put one there. Alright, let's get these parks out. Now, I know they want more than small parks, but. I mean. You know, I lived in a small town of. What is this? No, I, I didn't ever live in a town that big, actually. <laughs> so, so, I guess I don't know what it's like, but. Um, when I lived in a small town. Well, I guess all I lived in was small towns, besides now the fact that I live in St. Louis. But when I did live in small towns, uh, you know, this you didn't have much more than this kind of a park. You know, your town wasn't town wasn't sp shelling out money for a park, that's for sure. Alrighty. My mayor in my town I lived in, 3,000 people lived in it. He actually hit a guy in the face when he was mayor, and he killed him uh, by hitting him. Striking him in the face. No. I'm pretty sure it was a punch, but we won't call it that uh, just for the sake of not knowing. And uh, I'm pretty sure he he hit him. And uh, what I guess what happened is he actually you hear about there being a bone in your nose that you can basically break, and you know it slides out. You know, game over. And apparently he hit him right there. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's kind of a bad deal, and uh, it's not terribly funny. But he did go to jail over it, and that was that was it for that mayor. So it's, it is pretty funny. Not too funny, granted, but it's pretty funny, I think. So yeah, he did hit somebody, and he, he got in deep duty for that, as you can imagine. You get in two for killing people. You do get in trouble for killing people, guys. You know, don't let uh, all those video games out there. Uh, make you think otherwise. Look, I don't even have a perfect square grid. You know what? I don't like that. I'm going to fix this, guys. I have I have problems with this. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so, wait. Alright, let's pause this, first of all. Let's get rid of that. I know that this seems like a waste, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. You can't stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Be balanced, guys. Jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, all right. No, don't demolish that, please. Uh, I'm pretty sure I used this as my center point. If not, I'm sorry. I really am, because uh, I'm very OCD about this stuff, and I can't believe I didn't set this up. Well, I guess when I originally designed it, I was thinking that these would work out better than they did as I had built them. So, let's get rid of that. Um, as well as that. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's, I guess we're not going to be able to do much better than that, so. And I will fill in these empty industry or empty uh, residence spots when I have the opportunity to do so. All right, let's see. Yeah, so so far school has been uh, pretty easy. Uh, I'm in my second year of uh, pharmacy school, and uh, as you guys can hopefully uh, imagine, whether you're in college or not, if you're in high school, maybe past college, you know, whatever you are. Hopefully you can imagine how busy college gets and how hard it can get. And it, it's been pretty easy my first two years so far. 
but unfortunately there comes times when it gets hard even for those of us who act like it's no problem all the time and I, I do tend to act like it's no problem but then again I also don't get the best grades I don't try real hard either <laughs> I don't study for nearly as much as most people do uh, just because in my opinion if I can uh, just you know try a little bit you know I, I mean I study a little bit you know I read the stuff and I go to the classes usually uh, <laughs> if uh, you know I can give not necessarily minimal effort and not necessarily slack off I guess slack off and still do okay in the class then I'm fine with that and I mean I'm not going out to parties or anything so I don't have to feel like I'm you know slacking off to do stupid stuff I'm slacking off because the school's not challenging me and the second the school challenges me hey I'll do I'll try my butt off and I'll actually study and work hard but for now I don't have to do that and I can uh, succeed here without doing that but so far this semester it's been pretty easy until the last basically November it's gotten uh, pretty hard balls to the walls guys and uh, the last uh, last week was pretty easy and this week has been pretty easy but I got like I said two big exams coming up next week that I'm, I'm not really worried about except for in uh, OTC which is a class where we learn about uh, what? What's happening? Okay, it's a class where we learn about uh, non-prescription drugs, over-the-counter drugs, OTC as in over-the-counter. That's not what it's actually called, but for some reason it's abbreviated OTC, and in the actual name of the course there's not an, a, there's no letters or no words that start with the O, a T, or a C. So I don't know. It just comes from the word over-the-counter, obviously. What is this? Yeah, so I don't I don't know, to be honest, where where they get off with that name but I'm pretty sure it's just the fact that it's over the counter so uh, that's the class I've been in and it's it's the only one that's really been causing me any sort of grief and uh, it's not there's literally no chance that I, I fail it uh, I have calculated uh, my grades and one of the reasons I, I do so well so easily without too much stress is I keep a grade book my own grade book uh, and I keep it pretty accurate and I don't add extra credit into it if there's extra credit that's been offered you know so it's it's pretty much the bare minimum the the very least I could be doing in a class you know it shows me my grade before the extra stuff that they give you and sometimes I even leave out like really easy stuff like easy classes and things like that I won't add those in I just put these words here but I put them here really stupid and this side I'm not in good build even now I feel stupid. Good grief. Alright, well, yeah, so, I mean, um, what was I thinking here, guys? Good grief. Man, next time, remind me not to do this crap, please. Alright, so, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the play button again, and I fix that. And see, now you kind of see, you get the idea of what I'm trying to do here is uh, cut this around in a more rectangular shape. I'm gonna kick up these. No, I don't think so. I'm gonna just, uh, film this industry and uh yeah so it's kind of just a use a lift some spirit no all right oh man statue for mayor yes please so he needs more school okay i'll get right to the um cactus i like cactuses so legalize gambling sure gamble your money right to me country courthouse all right i'll take it uh, okay. Oh, is that the thing I deleted? Oh, no. That's a bad deal, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, well. There's it. Again. I did not want to put that there. This lighthouse costs money, guys. That's sick. What kind of gift costs money? You know? It's like, that's a bad, that's a, that's a bad gift, guys. Like a real bad gift. Too, actually. Alright, let's put the jail. I like putting jails down here, but then they complain about needing water, so... They lower the city aura, though, don't they? Alright, where's the other jail? City jail. Alright, city jail. Alright, it's time for you to go down here. And, uh, one problem I did have is on my other file that I was playing on my own was, uh, city jails. Apparently my jails actually ran out of room. I've I didn't even know that was like a thing that could happen. So, I 
mean, it makes sense. So, I don't know. Um, let's see. I need to put water for these guys. The only reason I put them so weird here is, first of all, I'm going to have one water source going to these guys. Because I'm pretty sure they need water. Because I think they actually don't need water, but they'll complain the whole time about how I don't have water going to place, and that drives me freaking crazy. I plan to have this line be power plants, and this line be it dump stuff, and hopefully I get the one power plants that are, like, much more efficient than that, which comes in, like, a hundred years, good grief. Um, let's see. Yeah, so OTC, we basically learned about your basics, uh, Tylenol, uh, ibuprofen, and then we get into heartburn medicines, uh, unset, up, uh, unset, upset stomach medications, uh, let's see, this should be the, um, you know, uh, sunblock is the most recent, they, recent, you know, sunblocks, uh, bites, stings, you know, things you treat, used to treat that hydrocortisone and things like that, and it's pretty interesting, but it, just the way that they do it is not that great, and that's, that's kind of where the class aggravates me, I guess, is, it's not, it's just not done in the best way, in my opinion, and they could do it a lot better, and they could make it a, a whole lot more interesting, and they don't, basically they're, the fault of the class is having online video lectures, video lectures are the worst, I mean, way to just show people that it's just an unexciting thing to talk about, I mean, that just makes it seem like, it's something that, ooh, it could be so awesome, and fun to talk about, and they just ruin it by making it, uh, online stuff, so. Uh, I'm not a big fan of online video learning. I just, I don't think it's terribly conducive to the learning experience, so. I've never really been one for it, but, um, you yeah. who am I to judge, right? I'm not a teacher. Maybe that's what they need to make their lives work or something. I don't know. Oh, well. So, my plan is to hear keep making so that nobody runs out of water I'm going to provide my light residences all with one source of water and that's going to be this little cluster I'll get rid of those when they break down uh, I'm going to provide them with water from this cluster of stuff here and then any everything else from now on when I make a new block I will actually have a set of pumping stations for each block from now on. so hopefully that will work out so yeah uh, OTC has been <clears throat> pretty good. We talk about some interesting stuff, adverse effects, uh, what uh, special populations can take, you know, uh, special populations uh, being uh, pregnant populations, um, lactating, which means uh, breastfeeding, and um, elderly kids, infants. Um, I turn water into gold, that's good. I don't, though, you're asking me to do it, but well, I'm not actually doing it. We need more people. Hopefully, uh, let's see our budget goes. Our budget's good. As I said before, I'm a fan of saving. Let's save because we've we've done a little bit. We haven't gotten very far, but we accomplished a good amount in my opinion. And hopefully, hopefully that that is somewhat somewhat true.